all right buddy what's going on welcome back to the channel so today we're out here back in San Mateo love and hate with the spot this is Seal Point Park and and last time I was here the mount or the hill seemed to be pretty green but now it's uh close brown as it's June today we're going to be seeing if we can catch anything that hits anchovy it's only that we've got as you can see in the cooler only got anchovy don't have squid don't have anything else so try to catch a fish today or not sometimes the fish don't eat anchovies so we're gonna hope that the rod behind me will get hooked I'm using the same old fish finder rig um yeah got one rod one reel for bait and then later when the tide gets higher i might get a shot throwing a swim bait so today let's see if we can catch a fish so if y'all been wondering um this month has been weird in june you know not it's not the fishing it's the weather you know, it's morning and of course the wind's kind of going already, gusting up to 10 as uh, the temperatures have been pretty cold. You know, uh, each morning of course, the bog has been around, temperatures are between 50 in the morning up to 65, 62 degrees in the afternoon. And yesterday it was pretty cold, so man, well this weekend, this uh, from Friday to Sunday, it should be pretty warm out here, up to 75, 78 degrees. And this Friday, I'll be going up to Berryessa and for 10 days, so glad I'm making a couple videos of bass fishing and maybe cat fishing too, as it's supposed to be 100 plus degrees up there for a few days. 90 is most of the trip, which is going to be crazy, but well, the fish have been pretty good out here. You know, the halibut striper last video was uh, all the way out on Treasure Island fishing on a boat as uh, I got my limit, I caught three stripers, no, excuse me, three halibut, one striper which ended up being a pretty good day. And well, let's hope that maybe there's a striped bass out here. Um, I have caught both out here in this spot, Alabama Striper, and you know, they do love anchovies. So let's hope that one of these fish are around and will hit my rod. So I'm gonna be sitting patient in my uh, chair. See we can catch. Well, so we're gonna get, try on the swim bait, tie it down a little higher. No fish yet. It's been about almost an hour. Man, come on, fish. You know you're out here. I'm gonna go here, go to the deepest part of this whole place. Because I'm looking at the tide, all of its mud there, all of its mud there. And so we gotta go over here. So yeah, I'm using an 8 foot 6 medium heavy Shimano skimmer spinning rod. It's actually, I think it's a, let me see, make sure I'm correct. It's a medium heavy, fast, action fast. So. It's a nice rod actually, 50 bucks. Um, Daiwa BG3000, I should have gone to 4000, but it still works. People use the 4000 because the handle. Slippery rocks are just moving around. Okay, so yes, the tide's coming in. Best timing right now. So, using a swim bait, five inch. What you're just doing, I'm just doing here is just passing it out. Back in like that. Hi, Ray. Still on. Still on. That was weird. Hi, Ray. Which we were going after. Alright, well, at least something out here that wants to bite anchovy. Dang. Yeah, it just drags slowly, goes out, and then peels. Fish not hooked. I mean, why is it like this for? Alright, you guys, so we're gonna be cast. So I wasn't recording, but when I cast it, snapped off, had to retie, and don't have any more pyramid weights, three ounce pyramid weights, so I gotta go to a coin weight now, which I have a few, which is good. Man, really wish I had my pliers. So, hope whoever I hook won't be inside the throat. Pretty good. And it should be just like that. Alright. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Okay. Oh, there we go. There it is. I run, I run, I run, I run. Still on. Oh. Let me run. 
once again I'm gonna click the bell because when the last time this event happened I clicked it down and it came off. It's coming in. Here we go, I got him. Here we go. What do we have here folks? Is it a ray? Alright, no skunk. Better wait for him to come back. Alright, you all, so whatever bit that anchovy took it off for a sec. Uh, dropped it and it seemed to go off somewhere else and I don't know but um yeah as you all can see fog is still around sun's there in the sky uh, tide's about to be high and around the next hour tide's gonna start going out and uh yeah I'll tell you some fish I'll be in there I'll be coming out and then we'll hit my bait which is my anchovy um yeah, you know one thing you all, the one place I would go right now on my bike would be the old San Mateo Pier. Man, you can imagine how good that spot would have been. Um, or excuse me, B. Cause like, look how far it goes out in the end over there. See the channel where the ships go, which is like 40, 60 feet. It'd be so much fish. Actually, on Fish Brain, I've, I've seen some fishermen's post catches off of there. They sneak in at night, catch sharks and stuff. Um, but people used to catch everything. I mean, you don't even have to go in the end. You can go, like, you know, when uh, the Bay Trail was open with straight construction, there, uh, I used to fish actually right there off the point next to the bridge, and, you know, people would catch sharks, rays, stripers, halibut, um, tarfish, all kinds of things and stuff. But it's pretty shallow because there's sandbar and stuff, so you gotta be in the high tides. And, uh, but if you go out, you know, there's sandbar, like, uh, I can't remember where I'm pointing, but around there, when you see a low tide, because I'm on the San Mateo Bridge, you know, on the tides low, I see the sandbar out, so most people go on the end. But man, if it was open today, yeah, especially like, you know, on a weekend, you can imagine how packed it would be. But you don't really need to go on the end, man. You know, like, Dumbarton Bridge has the pier, and, uh, yeah, it's a little shorter. But another pier I know, which I fished up north, next to Treasure Island was the old Berkeley fishing pier. That was actually the longest pier, until then it was like abandoned and demolished. I don't know why these long piers have to be gone, man. It's unfair. But um, hey, I mean, at least there's fish. I like to hang around on the shallows when the tide's high. It's crazy that this spot is unfishable when it's like a negative tide. So, you gotta be here when it's high tide. That's why I'm here in the morning. If it was high in the afternoon, then I wouldn't be here. I'd be probably sleeping right now. It's nine o'clock. So, uh, and also good news too, I'll be uh, going to Berryessa the next 48 hours. Today, it's Wednesday and Friday, 9 a.m. My dad and I and all of our friends, family are leaving at time. Could be in your RV. I'll show you all in the next video when we go to the lake and it's gonna be nice. But um, let's hope that's something like a striper or we're running into my anchovy and see if we can catch it. All right, guys. So do you want to know how to fish like a pro and what to have like a pro when you're out here fishing on the shores? If you don't have a driver's license yet, you're a little too young like me. I'm only 14 and a half. This is what I've got. So I got this in Christmas 2020. This is a... Uh, 
heard the trailer. I put that whole house uh, sticker on there. It's cool. But yes, this is why I have you all. This thing can be used for anything you can imagine. I've seen people put their surfboards on here. They put like you can put anything on your 100 pounds. They can tow mat or put on max. But the rollers are not coming together. This was played by my uncle. Screws in, rod holders. Put some uh these down here so the rod plugs don't go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, ground. attached to my bike here. This was 200 bucks uh, on Amazon. And the rod holders for like 10 bucks. I think I got like West Marine. Like magic, so uh, cannot wait to like someday trying to get an e bike and it'll be just much easier to use. It is a pain with towing like 20 pounds of cargo and stuff on here, 10 pounds. And yeah, and then you know, I've been a kind of playing with it before. The bay trail is finally open, they're just having like a, some power problem, you can't go in until less than the weekends. And then it opens again, I got around my bottom of the bay trail into there. That's right now. See if we can catch something. Next one, let's give it a cast out. We're going over here so we don't feel the wind. See if anything comes out of here. If the tide's gonna start going out, hit the Zanchovy. Let's hope, let's hope. Fingers crossed, wall. Get out here. Sharing the lines back around. Everything's all good. Balanced. And out. Alright guys, let's see. There we go. That's how she looks. Alright. Weird weather in San Francisco. Alright, but it's gonna be this video. So today we caught one little brave. That's it. Not the best day, but hey, better than getting scum. So um yeah the reason why I decided to go home a little early is because the wind's back. This is my backyard. If you want know something crazy in the backyard, that is seal slough. And uh, yeah, uh, there's one striper in there I know. Hopefully it's still alive. But uh, the only fish in there I know before that striper was in there was the uh, mullet. Yeah, that's right. They're, uh, I don't know how these mullet got in here, but they don't eat anything. I mean, I don't know what they eat. I've tried catching them on lures, catching them on bait. They won't eat any of that. So um, yeah, man. Um, someday I'm about to put some fish in there to make it like, you know, like the bay, which would be awesome because instead of having to go anywhere, I get to fishing right in the backyard. <laughs> be crazy, but um, so the next video you're going to watch is going to be rather the bay game, which will be probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be going or not. It's going to be somewhere different for sure. Or um, it's going to be a uh, Barry S video coming. So, well, um, it's been pretty cool out here lately. You know, uh, temperatures have been, you know, in the 60s, 50s, and I hope it's supposed to be 100 degrees at Barry S this weekend, which is going to be pretty nice. So, hope you all enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos coming, and hope you all enjoy the rest of your Wednesday today. Stay tuned.